Hey you guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today we're talking about the top five baits for bass fishing in the month of February. February is an awesome month in bass fishing. Now, of course, it depends where you are in the country. Some of the guys up north sitting on top of a block of ice. Some of the guys deep in the south, <laughs> they're frog fishing. It just depends where you are. But the bulk of the country, we're in this transitional time in the month of February. The winter stuff is still working, but the first reaches out into spring begin happening. There are also some huge differences between early February and late February in most of the country. And we'll cover some of that as we go along too. We have a handful of baits that we rely on this month. The first one is a jerk bait. Now I have two very different styles of jerk bait here. The Mega Bass Vision 110. This bait is incredibly refined. Uh, you're going to pay for that being so refined, but this truly sets the standard in cold water jerk bait fishing. Uh, the ability to slow fish that bait and let it stall out in the water column is remarkable. In early February, we are going to see fish starting to creep shallow in most of the country. Again, further south, they're farther along than that. Northern guys, it speaks for itself. But most guys, you're going to see some of your fish making that creep up shallow. The jerk bait is an amazing way to catch them. When that water's really cold, that Vision 110 is the deal. Now, as we start to get further into February, you're going to see me make a switch to some of the smaller, faster moving jerk baits. This from Shimano is the Zoom Verano 95 SP. The little 95 size, super darty, super erratic, and tons of flash, both out of the pattern I chose and out of that flash boost inside. But as we get later in February, more and more fish will be making that push up towards the shallows and those smaller, flashy, aggressive jerk baits can draw incredible reaction strikes. So again, I'll start out refined and fishing slower with longer pauses and I'll end the month fishing faster and more aggressive looking for more flash. Now, you're going to see sort of that trend carry across all of these baits and you need to decide, I'll give you one or two in each category, you need to decide on your fishery if you should lean a little more subtle or a little more aggressive. The next one is an underspin. A little tiny swim baits, you know, a 2.8 Kitek on a guppy head. That thing will crush all winter long. But when we start seeing that push back towards the shallows, it's not just the bass. Bait fish are making their way back into the shallows. And all of a sudden, adding that blade, adding that flash is everything. When the bait fish start pushing, those bass, those bass will not be far behind. And having some flash, one, it gives you more drawing power because oftentimes in February, we've got storm cycles rolling through, we've got murkier water, and that blade on there creates more drawing power. But it also helps your swim bait stand out from the crowd. It stands out from all the other shad in the water when you've got that blade on there. It is a night and day difference. As far as profiles, you'll see me go as subtle as a 2.8 Kitek, but I'll get aggressive too if there's a lot of shad in the water. That's a three inch Largo shad. These are both on our Dirty Jigs tactical mini underspin, but that more aggressive tail, if I'm seeing more bait fish, that more subtle, slow roll, if I don't know for sure if there's any bait fish up there. The next one as we roll through that month, is the A-Rig. The A-Rig is just a bait that we've been throwing all winter and will continue to throw the entire spring. A lot of people don't enjoy A-Rigging because they're heavy. They feel like they have to throw them on a big clumsy swim bait rod. That has all changed. 
Uh, we make three A-Rigs in a partnership with Hog Farmer. Uh, Tim and I put our heads together with them. The first one we came out with was that Tactical Flex a few years ago. That lighter weight, lighter wire, super flexible bait draws incredible reaction strikes from fish. But because the bite was changing nationally, we created the Mini Flex, a much smaller profile. And then of course, some of you know, maybe not everybody, this year we launched the Micro. The Micro allows us to fish 2.8 Kitex, three inch swim baits, super effectively. And it's truly built for it. There we go. It is truly designed around them with super light wires that remain incredibly flexible and we can stick those fish on those small profiles. We're throwing that with one ot guppy heads. Look at that compared to our original rig. Incredible difference, right? Night and day. The biggest difference for the guy who doesn't like rig fishing, I want you to hear me. I throw this, the biggest I go is a 610 medium heavy. I throw this a lot on mediums. One of my favorite rods to throw it is a 7.2 medium light, literally a bait finesse rod. I'm throwing this on 10 to 12 pound line. You can literally get a seven foot medium spinning rod and throw this rig. The way I have it set up with eight ounce heads, this entire combo weighs no more than a half ounce spinner bait. So you can throw this on totally normal gear and with the downsized profile we'll get a ton of bites but every fishery is different if you're on a factory that's putting out giant bass and they're eating gizzard shad don't throw the micro rig throw a full size rig it just depends on your lake but we tried to create options for everybody and those micro rigs on light line light tackle anyone whether you've had injuries and it's hard to cast whether you're older, whether you're younger, anybody can throw that tiny downsized rig. All right, next one up. Let's talk square bills. Man, does it feel good to say that word. Square bill crankbaits are coming back. This is not something I have thrown since fall. And I love the day that they get shallow enough that I get to start cranking again. Typically for me, this is later in February, but the second I can reach those fish with that square bill, I'm all about it. You're gonna see two different baits here, very similar colors though. I'm gonna spend a lot of time throwing those bright, bold reds this time of year. This is the Rocco. This little guy right here, Rapala OG. This bait has the fastest start and stop of any square bill I have ever used and it shines so much for me in the spring. The advantage of that start and stop, a lot of people think crankbait, throw it out, wind it back, throw it out, wind it back. You guys know from all our deep water speed cranking, burn, 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 pause, burn, 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 pause, burn, pause. We're looking for a reaction strike. That Rocco allows us to start and stop so quickly and so suddenly that I will dance this thing around cover. I'll run it right up to a stump, pause, bump it, just get it to barely vibrate, stop, vibrate, stop, then take off. And I can get so many fish to lash out and react that I would never be able to catch just slow winding. Now the other one from Bill Lewis, this is the ATV. I'm just as excited about this one. We discovered the ATV last year. This thing is the true four by four of all square bills. This bait, you can literally throw it cr across laydowns, across logs and burn it through. It's like there are no hooks on it. It will come through anything. But the second a fish hits that thing, they hook up. It's mind blowing how well it works. So I throw that one <clears throat> in and around cover, anywhere where I'm gonna be banging through that stuff. Next up, we've got the blade bait slash lipless category, particularly at the start of the month. I'm all about the blade bait. 
You guys know if you've seen any of our blade bait things that we have two different baits that we throw. The Mega Bass Dyna Response and the Damiki Vault. Similar profiles, but the Dyna Response is a much tighter action, whereas the Damiki is much more aggressive with its vibration. On any given day, one or the other is a major player. Now, no matter where you are, I don't care if you are in the heart of Florida, if you can get to the outside edge of grass, the blade bait will work all the way through February. We catch fish on it everywhere. But in the southern portions of the country, mid to late February, we're absolutely going to see the lipless come back into play. For me, that is specifically bottom hopping that bait. Tim and I love that style of fish and we do it all the way through the spring and all the way through the fall. I tend when that's just starting to lean towards the smaller profiles like the little TN60 or that half ounce Nomad. Uh, just slightly smaller profiles but still very heavy baits that I can really pull on and it's the thing with these baits is the specific baits matter. They've got to have a very fast fall rate. Not all lipless are created equal. When we're bottom hopping, you want that bait to flutter up super aggressive, but immediately crash back to bottom. There's only a handful of baits that do it effectively. That little half ounce Nomad, that guy's tiny, but it's got an amazing, super tight vibration and fast fall. And then that TN60, the small brother of the TN70 that we throw year round, is another one that just crushes. We're fishing it the exact same way, throw it out, the same way we throw that blade bait. Let it hit bottom, flutter, let it fall, reel up the slack. Flutter, let it fall, reel up the slack. That's how we fish those baits. But as that water continues to warm, that blade bait just the blade bait begins to fade and the lipless will just take off. And then last but not least, we're gonna throw in a number six, and that is the bigger profiled soft swim baits. Uh, historically, the Huddleston has been the way that we've gone. The longer I live in the South, the more and more confidence I build in that eight inch mag draft as well. Here, I'm typically just creepy crawling on the bottom. That Huddleston just barely moving it. Whereas the mag draft, I'm winding that mid column, typically around structure, trying to pull fish up to the bait. But both eight inch baits and incredibly effective fish catchers in two different situations. Whether you wanna throw a 2.8 underspin or a giant swim bait, February is an amazing time to be on the water. I will link all of these different baits in the video description for you. We'll list them in the order that we talked about them. I'll give you favorite colors for all of them. If there's any room left, I'll even give you some great budget rod and reel combos that stand out from the crowd for throwing these different things. Maybe a really good like blade bait slash lipless type rod, a good square bill rod, an A-rig rod, something like that. Try and get you some really good options so that you guys can go out there and catch them. Get out there this, this coming month. It is a great time to be on the water. You will catch fish and you can catch giants. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon.